Hey everyone, this is Olivier and you're watching the Internet of Things show. Today we will talk about the integration between Azure IoT Hub and the Azure Event Grids. And for that, we have Ashita with us today. Hey Ashita, how are you doing? Hi Olivier, I'm doing great. So where are you, Ashita? No one knows you, do they? Hi, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a new PM. Uh, so I am a program manager in Azure IoT and uh, I focus on Azure IoT Hub. Okay, one more PM. We have plenty of these here. <laughs> That's awesome. So um, first, as an introduction, so we know what IoT Hub is about. Mm -hmm. So there's this new thing called Event Grids. Can yes. you tell us a bit about Event Grids? Sure. So Azure Event Grid is our event routing and distribution platform, and it uses a publish-subscribe model. What it really enables people to do is to react cr uh, to critical events quickly in near real time and also easily integrate these events into serverless architectures using Azure Logic Apps, Azure Functions, and also integrate them into third-party applications via Webhook. Awesome. So if I understand correctly, it's a big, huge pops-up platform mm -hmm. offered as a service within yes. Azure yes. for customers who want to aggregate services together rapidly and easily, right? Yes, absolutely Event -based. right. Yes. Okay. So it enables one service to publish events and trigger another service and multiple services. So you can fan out events really quickly in a reliable, scalable, and secure fashion. Awesome. Um, how does it integrate with IT Hub? That's a new thing actually yeah. happening now, right? Uh, so Azure IT Hub is now onboarding on Azure Event Grid as a publisher, and All we right. will publish uh, device lifecycle events uh, in preview, mm -hmm. uh, and we will have device created and device uh, deleted events. Being okay. Published. So let me try to understand. So when we talk about IoT scenarios, mm -hmm. we think first about you know telemetry data, tons yeah. of data flowing from sensors. Yeah. But then there's also these event-based type of events, mm -hmm. right? There's like as we were mentioning, like device lifecycle, a new device arrives mm -hmm. online or things or alerts, yeah. stuff like that. Is Event Grid for both, or is it like for now a choice to do? So Event Grid is really designed for eventing, and Azure IT Hub currently has Azure IT Hub Message Routing, which okay. handles device telemetry data really well, which requires a lot of high throughput. Uh, but event, uh, our integration with Event Grid is really useful in scenarios where a customer wants to know, uh, for example, uh, a, dis a device is going end of life, and the customer really wants to integrate their ticketing system and inventory management system, so they mm -hmm. can trigger an order to get a new device replaced and just uh, have just-in-time delivery. Of that Got device. it. Yeah. And I think there's also a big difference that you mentioned when we were discussing before about uh, the, the fact there's a guarantee in terms of the order or not. Yes. So that's a big difference, right? In, in telemetry events, you yes. want to make sure that you have a timestamp and that things right. arrive in a certain order. Mm -hmm. Uh, event grid doesn't provide that warranty. It doesn't right? guarantee ordering. So for, for those scenarios, we encourage, uh, we recommend uh, routing. Got it. Yeah. Okay. How about you show us a demo Absolutely. of that integration? So uh, in this demo, basically, I want to um, show two things. First, I will create a logic app that will uh, trigger an action of sending an email. Okay. And the trigger is going to be the IoT Hub event where I create a device. Okay. So. Looking at the uh, logic apps here, all I've done here is designed a, a logic app where I am requesting, uh, creating a HTTP endpoint and okay. creating an email as an action. Okay. I'm sending an email with uh, more details into what was the event about, what was the time, and what device it came from. Okay. Now I go into my IoT Hub and there is this tab Event Grid. Mm -hmm. All I have to do is click on Event Subscription and enter name, so I'm going to say it's a EG test. Um, so it's not a endpoint, right? We have these custom endpoints for IT Hub, so yes. Event Grid is its own thing. Yes, Okay. but the it today it can only integrate with HTTP type endpoints. Okay. So all I'm going to do is actually capture the HTTP endpoint that I created, which is basically uh, what is the link to this workflow that we've created okay. on Logic Apps, and then paste it right here. Event Grid also gives me the capability to filter some of the events that I want to publish. So mm -hmm. let's say I want to filter only uh, data when it comes from a temperature sensor. Okay. And I'm able to add that as a suffix, and I have now created an Event Grid subscription. And what this is is basically a route between IoT Hub to my Logic App workflow. Got it. And I don't have to deal with the scaling of that Event Grid thing, right? Exactly. That's the, the whole idea of exactly. it. You can push one event to multiple subscriptions in okay. multiple locations. So now that our event grid is deployed, uh, that's it. We have now automated this, and let's test it out. 
So we will go to add to devices and mm -hmm. I'm going to simulate a device. I'm going to add a device here. I'm going to call so it. So a process that if you are actually in a real life scenario, yeah. you're basically installing a new machine yeah. right, in your infrastructure yeah. and say, hey, I'm going to register, provision that device, yes. add the device in my IT hub, mm -hmm. boom, comes online. Yes, and you can uh, you know, text your engineer who, who can come and configure it or put it somewhere or install it. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, endless opportunities for yeah. this. So let's say I have a device and I want to call it device temp. Let's go to device temp and boom. So now what I've done is created the device and I'm expecting an email. And so because you named it with that suffix yes, temp, yes. that's when the filter that you set up in a Vangrid will have. That's works. right. Okay, got it. So we can also test this. So there's my Ooh, email when I open ready. it. It's really near All life, real time. Edited. Yes. Awesome. So uh, it tells me that it came from device one temp. This was my IoT hub and what time it occurred. And um, same thing, if I can go and unclick this, basically it will send me another email about the deletion of this particular okay. device. So there we go. Awesome. Yeah. Real life scenario again. That's cool. Actually, I didn't count the number of clicks, but it was very few, it's right, to add the event grid into the IT Hub. Yes. And that happened in the IT Hub Blade. Yes. So basically, you're in your IT Hub, and you set up that configuration and integration with event grid. Yes. That's awesome. It's well, really that cool. was that integration between Azure IT Hub and event grids, and I'm sure we're going to see more from Ashita soon. Thank yeah, you. Thank you.